In the armory you can actually buy items. Uh, you could buy shields, gloves, helmets and so forth for your characters. You can also sell any items that you have equipped or uh, weapons. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy uh, two axes for Isaac and Garrett. Since their weapons have, uh, they really haven't been upgraded. And not only that, if you if you guys remember from the last video, a bandit dropped a sword. Uh, and uh, Ivan can actually equip that sword. And it's a better weapon than what they're selling right now at the armory. So right now we're going to leave this place and we're going um, to head east. And uh, also before I forget, uh, if you guys notice the monsters in the forest, they're not that strong. I mean they usually come in groups. They're a bit powerful compared to the ones that you encounter in the plains. But there really isn't a huge difference between each one of them. So let's keep going east. But oh, this is the world map by the way. Uh, press R. And uh, you're gonna encounter a lot of these uh, mushroom monsters. And now since we have the... We upgraded our weapons. If you notice, uh, the images change. There are no longer swords or axes. The, although when you uh, change equipment, uh, the equipment doesn't doesn't change. It's always the same for all the characters. So I'm just gonna attack the vermin here and twenty damage. Attack and we got twelve experience points. Oh, oh yeah, make sure you to save. Remember once I forgot to save and I have to start all over again. Okay, keep going up these stairs. And if you notice, we really can't progress from here. Because the poison ivy, the leaves, they're uh, preventing us from moving that uh, the tree. But luckily Ivan is going, is going to join us. And what Ivan has is he has the synergy whirlwind, and what that does it all uh, it blows out all the leaves, making it easier for us to move the the tree. I don't I don't really think it's a tree; it's just like a, like a piece of a tree, the bottom part. A tree, a tree trunk. So Ivan's reason for joining us is because uh, he he used mind read on Isaac. So he said he actually he's probably the only one outside of Bale that knows what's going on or and what's going to happen. So he, for that reason, he decided to join us. And he he, he will also be useful later on. Because besides mind read, as I mentioned before, he has uh, the ability reveal. It's gonna be very useful when we get to the to the desert. Okay. So now everyone, it's my party. And as I mentioned before, you can use whirlwind to blow up those leaves. That's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, we're in the Goma cave right now. And you wanna go up here and left. Jump jump the platform. Oh yeah, there are powerful monsters here. If you if you can uh, um, take them down using attack, uh, I suggest you use uh, synergy. You could cast plague flare. And they do uh, a decent amount of damage. But uh, fire seems to be weak against these monsters though. I mean they they looks like they're weak against fire in this cave. 
Oh, there's another skeleton. There's many of them, by the way. We're gonna encounter a lot of these skeletons. And attack. Yeah, and they do take a lot of damage, so... I guess upgrading the, to the axe was a good idea. And not only that, this cave is probably good to level up as well. The monsters here are more powerful than in the, in the, in the world, outside of the cave. Okay, so what you want to do now, you want to move this tree, well, this this piece of the tree that was cut off, and there was like a hole over there, just move it towards there, so, you, so you'll be able to reach the fire gem, I believe that was, the fire gem is, his name is Fever, I don't remember, and attack. Nine experience points and ten coins. Okay. Oh, the, yeah, there's a lot of these skeletons. Damn. Twenty damage. Twenty damage, and he's still alive. Well, twenty damage points. And apparently, each skeleton gives you ten experience points. So if you like battle five of them, you probably get fifty. Okay, we're gonna use flare and f I mean fire and attack. Forty-five. Yeah. Yeah, forty-two. Yeah, fire is very. It does a lot of damage against these monsters in Goma Cave. Okay, so I believe we had to go up. Oh yeah, don't forget to heal. You, you don't want to heal during battle because you, you never know when a monster is going to do a critical attack. And I, be, I believe there was another tree we had to move. I can't remember right now. And we could summon Venus and attack. And we're just going to keep attacking here. Yeah, I believe we have to go back to the room and remove this tree, uh, this tree trunk. Uh, more of these. Attack, attack, attack. 20 damage. At least the battle since aren't that all slow. The animation is very fast paced. Okay, um yeah no I'm just gonna keep attacking these monsters. And Mr. Flame. Oh uh, the monsters can also use synergy. This is called something else. I think it's still synergy though. Yeah, and it was your uh, skeleton again. Attack, attack, attack. 21 damage. 9 damage, and he's dead. Okay, let's go down here. And up. We're almost there. Oh. A ghost. <clears throat> he usually uses a uh, synergy, though. I, I believe he could use flare, I'm not sure. Did he? Okay, let's keep going up here. And we're almost here. By the way, in this room there is a treasure chest. And inside the treasure chest there is a lucky metal, which you could actually sell for gold. So we're going to get that first. Oh, monsters again. 29 damage, 23, and he's dead. Okay, just open this up. Yeah, it's a lucky metal. And we have to move this uh, tree trunk here. Let's move it forward. And uh, we should be able to get to the the Mars gen now. So we have to go all the way back. And zombies. 
Oh, fire does a lot of damage against zombies in this game. So we're going to use uh, uh, Garrett's fire. How much? 40 damage and 33. Even here. We're almost there, by the way. And there it is, the fire, the fire engine. Hey, yeah, one thing to mention is if you if you don't beat this gin, uh, he's going to run away. But there's you have to you have to uh, beat him in a certain amount of time. If you don't, he's just gonna run away, and you have to come back. So right now I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna attack him with um, uh, each character synergy and Venus before he runs away. I'm gonna use Earthquake. Uh, cure. Well, I have to cure Isa. But these gens could use synergy, so they could allow, uh, do a lot of damage to your characters in one turn. So uh, he casts Flare. I'm gonna kill Gary before he dies. Well, he's not gonna die, but... Cast Cure. And he ran away. Well, that sucks. I have to go back up the stairs and then back down. Okay. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna use Flint and then... Well, fire is not gonna do a lot of damage, so I'm just going to attack and then lay. 47 damage. That's 25. Uh, I'm gonna kill Isaac. And I'm gonna summon Venus with Gary and then lay a gun. 37. Fully, Isaac is fully restored. And Venus does 30 damage, and we caught him. Well, we didn't ca catch him, but we defeated him. And I believe this is Fever. Or the Jin's name. No, it's Forge. I think Fever is the Jin that you get in the desert. I don't remember. So there's really not much to do in this cave. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's a Jin and a treasure chest with the Lucky Metal. And we'll give him Forge to Garrett, so he'll get a stat increase. And then monsters again. <coughs> and he did a... They do have uh, their own moves, moveset, the monsters. No, Ghost uses Rumble. Oh, it was Rumble, not Flare. I thought I thought he used Flare. So I guess they don't have any elemental uh, powers. And use Move here. Uh, you, this is probably so you could go back to the to the entrance where we came in from. And we're almost out of this cave. Yep. And I believe this is the village of Belibin. So something strange is going on. As you can tell, uh, the tree over there looks like a human. And that's because actually a uh, uh, thread, one of the, I guess you could call it magical trees. Uh, he turned uh, some of the villagers into trees because they were cutting down the forest. Or well, the trees from the forest. And he didn't like that, so they got turned into trees. Okay, so right now we're going up. Uh, we're going to get our, our Jupiter gen, which is underneath this uh, statue here. And just... Nah, <laughs> I made a mistake. It's not this way. It's actually the other way. In the next video, I'll show you guys how to get to this Jupiter gen.